Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh. By Hashem Yahweh Shai. By Hashem Rechaha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the hopefully elect. It's the brother Isaiah with the Pittsburgh GMS camp. Coming at you with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. <coughs> by Hashem Rechaha Kodash. No willing this lesson is edifying. All right. And uh, I just want to do this lesson real quick, you know. <coughs> just to base off of certain, you know, certain uh, things that was happening. That I was seeing, you know, like uh, I had the situation occur. Well, I was trying to pull into this parking space. And this lady starts to walk right into the path of where I was turning. Like she walked, she was. She started to try to walk through the parking space. <clears throat> and I'm looking like, what is this lady doing? Like, she don't see my car right here. <coughs> I had my headlights on. And then she looked up and she starts like looking at me crazy. I was thinking to myself, like, are you, are you fucking retarded? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, <clears throat> what are you doing? You know, and uh, I've never seen so many different people, man, going full retard. All right. And you know where I get that from. Uh, I forget what the movie was. There was this movie. Uh, where they had the guy on there. Quote unquote. Uh, doing blackface. I believe it was that movie. I, you know. I, <coughs> I can't remember the movie because. It must not have been that good. But basically. I believe it was Cuba Gooding Jr. And uh, he said, you're never supposed to go full retard, man. You know? And uh, that's exactly what you got nowadays. You got a bunch of people going full retard. All right? Just going full on retarded, man. You know? And it seemed like ever since, you know, this serpent done started uh, venomizing people, this is what you have. All right, and it's just to the point where you really gotta be circumspect. You gotta be on guard, man, because these people out here, they ain't got it all together. They making risky moves on the road. You know what I'm saying? And you gotta be, you gotta be wise as a serpent, harmless as a dove. You gotta be patient. You know what I'm saying? And uh, damn, man. You know, so lucky. I'm trying to merge so many cars out here, man. Uh, like this nigga right here just got over without signal, and the lane next to him is empty. Anyway, niggas is just doing shit for no reason. You know, he's he's he's, he's switching lanes again with no signal. You know, I mean, there's so many different things where you just be like, damn, what's the point? Like. It's called a turn signal. It's so you can signal to the other driver that you about to turn, okay? But you got all these people that are turning without signaling what's what they're about to do, you know? And it's just not, it's not road safe. It's not wise, nor is it road safe, okay? Because I don't know what you about to do, nigga. You, you just do the shit, <laughs> you know? And then, and then now, you know what I'm saying? Man, sometimes, man, I feel like the angels have to work, like, super triple. Like, certain hours of the day, you be driving, man, like, at a necessity. <clears throat> like, I really don't want to be out right now. But I have to. I had to go get some things, man. You know, just, I had to, I had to go out. I did not want to go out. It's dark now. You know, and I got off work. It's, uh, it's, it's almost six. So you know everybody and their mama out shopping, going home, et cetera, et cetera. I'm like 20 miles from the crib. I don't wanna be out here, man. All these damn niggas and people and Edomites, all these demons, okay? You know? Especially nowadays, man. Especially nowadays because these spirits are just hopping all over people, man. 
and people are not making sound decisions. Yeah, shit, the scriptures say that in the last days, many people that's in the faith is going to depart from the faith. You know, they're not going to take heed to sound doctrine, okay? They're going to be taking heed to seducing spirits. Okay, now, if those are people that are within the knowledge, how much more are these people that have no, no parts of the knowledge at all? You know, if that's Israelites that are going to be bugging out, wigging out, shit. Imagine the niggas, you know, the regular niggas and the Edomites, oh, you can only imagine what's going on in they shit. <laughs> if you got a, if you got a so-called man of the Lord talking about, uh, you know, let me put my pickle in your, in your wife's mouth, you know, which is wicked and adulterous, and the Lord's gonna fucking kill you, <coughs> okay? Because you're setting a bad example, and you sitting there committing adultery openly, like in your heart, in your mind, you laughing and boasting about it like the shit is cute. All right, if these people who once had the knowledge are bugging out like this. <laughs> you can only imagine that the, the, the rest of the population is going full motherfucking regalia, nigga. Full retard. <coughs> All right? So, <clears throat> we can't marvel at these things, man. But, you know, when you see them, <laughs> you know, you're going to be like, damn, you know? As we hasten more and more towards <coughs> the destruction of America, Babylon the Great. This is what's going to be the norm, okay? And this is what we're going to uh, expect to see. Let me see, I got to get over. This is what you can expect to see, man, because, you know, Scripture tell you the Lord have mingled a perverse spirit in the midst thereof and have caused Egypt to err in every work. As a drunken man staggered in his vomit. All right? So there's a perverse spirit mingled in the midst of this place, man. You know? Got all type of <coughs> wickedness, debauchery. All right? And, and just overall confusion, man. You know? The word babble, okay, which is a part of the word Babylon, means confusion. All right? And that's what you have here, man. Great confusion. So expect that confusion and the, and the wickedness to increase as we get closer and closer to the end of this bitch, man. The bitter end of this motherfucker. You know? Which that word, Amerigo, goes back into uh, into bitter, man. This word, America, goes into bitter, man. And this is a bitter hoe, man. And it's going to be a bitter end. All right? For the people who love this place, man. For the people who love this bitch. All right? And the water, yeah, about she, me, I was shy for the spirit to hate this motherfucker, man. You know? You begin to... The people that are in friendship with this place, all right? You begin to hate them. All right? You begin to look at them as, uh, as vexations. Especially those who are... <laughs> not trying to do the right thing, man. All right? Now, don't get me wrong. You know, we're still to shine as lights in the, in the midst of the world, but, man, you know, our heart is not towards this place, man. This is not our rest. Scriptures say, here, we have no continuing city, but we seek one to come. Knowing that this is not our, our rest, this is not our city. This is just temporary. Alright? We don't get all caught up in this place. And really, we have a hatred, you know, for this place, man. You should say, do not I hate them that hate thee, O Lord. And anybody who wants America Babylon the Great to continue, alright, and, and survive and <laughs> They don't love the Lord, man. They don't love the Lord. You know, sometimes I have a, I have an Apostle Har moment. <laughs> you know, because Apostle Har be, uh, he be telling the different stories, the things he'll say to people, and uh, I be thinking to myself like, dang, man, you know that's, that's the spirit right there, man. Apostle Har don't give a shit sometimes, you know. And somebody will say something to him, he be like, man, I don't, I don't celebrate that bullshit, you know, or whatever he'll say like. 
yeah, don't take the jab, da da da. Or, you know, sometimes he'll be like that. So sometimes I'll say stuff, you know, with certain people, with certain people, if the spirit be on me, I don't try to be like overzealous or no shit like that at all, you know what I'm saying? But sometimes situations arise and I'll say something just to kind of see what the person says, or the Lord has something happen through the spirit. And man, they'll just be funny as hell, man. Uh, this motherfucker gonna ask me, uh, oh yeah, how was your Christmas? I'm like, man, I don't celebrate that shit. The motherfucker gonna say, oh, what, you Muslim or something? I'm like, no, nah, nigga. I'm like, no, nah, I ain't Muslim. I'm like, you know Christmas is not biblical, right? They said, what? Now the spirit had it where they kept on walking with they fucking cigarette in their mouth. The same motherfucker I told to quit smoking. He told about that scripture. You wanna come talk to me the next, uh, you know, the next day and shit. Talk about some, how was your Christmas? With the fucking cigarette in their mouth. I'm like, nigga, you know that's not biblical. That's not a biblical holiday. They said, what? But they kept walking. I'm like, yeah, keep walking, nigga. I'm not gonna chase you down and tell you nothing else. But you motherfuckers got a rude awakening coming, man. These things that you, this motherfucker's whole world will be fucked up <coughs> just talking to me for a couple minutes. Ah, oh, fuck you. And you know, and that's the thing about it. You know, Paul was like, look, he, he didn't, he, Paul was like, look, I ain't, I ain't tripping, man. <coughs> I ain't, I don't give a shit that I made y'all sad. You know, there was certain people that, that he made sad by saying certain things or writing his different letters. He was like, well, look, you know, I think he said something like he wasn't gonna glory in the fact that he made them sad, but rather that they that they were sad unto repentance. <coughs> you know, but the type of these motherfuckers, you know, the type of sad that uh, most of these people would be, it ain't the type of sad that would cause them to repent. It's the type of sad that would cause them to for that that would cause their countenance to fall because they can't do the shit that they thought that they could do. They can't worship. They can't go to their Christmas do they Saturnalia, you know, they can't go to their Bacchus <coughs> worshipping <coughs> activities, you know, they can't do their normal wickedness, and so now they're, they're sad, oh, I'm so sad, what do you mean Christmas isn't biblical, what do you mean Easter isn't, it's not called Easter, what, that's, that's Ishtar worship, what do you mean? What do you mean? There's no bunny and eggs? I can't go to church on Easter Sunday? <coughs> you know? What about Good Friday? What about Lent? You know, these different things or whatever, which I don't really, I have to look into that whole Lent shit, but nevertheless, you know, <coughs> people, these people will be devastated, you know, if they found out a lot of these jakes, man, a lot of these niggas, man, they, they still love this world. And they will be hurt. A lot of people is hurt, man. Because this truth is out here. But nevertheless, you know, so like your topic kind of switched a little bit, right? And these people just going full retard, man. tell you something, you ought to be like, what's that about? What you mean? I ain't never heard that before. You know, I ain't never heard that. What do you say? Christmas ain't biblical? If you ain't, if you don't know that Christmas ain't biblical, 
Let somebody tell you that ain't biblical. You gotta be like, what you mean? Why would you say that? That's, G that's, that's Jesus' birthday. Why would you say that's not biblical? I'm not finna, you know what I'm saying? I'm not chasing you down, man. We're not chasing nobody down out here, man. We got business to handle, man. We got family to take care of. We got work to do. You know, brothers got jobs. <coughs> you know what I'm saying? Duties toward you, how about you? I was shy of feeding the sheep, feeding the actual kids and you know, family, you know, taking care of health issues and all that. We ain't got time to be chasing no niggas down to, uh, to uh, give you this knowledge that you should want. You should be hunting our steps. Scriptures say, where are the steps of the door of him that is wise? Scriptures literally say that. What does it mean to wear the steps? It means wear them out. Wear them steps out, nigga. You need to be there all the time. Listening. I'm trying to find, what you, what he say today? What the Lord feed him with today so I can get fed. You know? That's the spirit. That's the spirit right there. Not the old, oh man, I told that brother, where he at? I tried to tell him. Man, you know what I'm saying? spiritual spiritual uh, rolling in the spirit for real you know what I'm saying kind of a various topics at this point you know but these people man these people ain't got it these heathen ain't got it this world ain't got it this world is losing it this world really been lost it but now it's manifesting at a more rapid rate okay the, uh, the, the current state of the world is revealing itself. Okay. This folly is being shown. Shimmy, I was shy by Shimmy Kakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone. Peace, blessings, salutations to the whole fleet left. Then I want to say Shalom. Wow, 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 Shalom.